Hi everybody, Keith here. Good evening. We're finally on Saturday the 14th. Hope everybody made it through Friday the 13th. Um, wanted to talk to everybody again real quick about my father. I've been on this big kick here lately about the uh, birth certificate. Trying to uh, help people understand that it's all fraud. And uh, basically uh, what it comes down to is... Um, when, when you're involved in these quasi-contracts, remember a couple things. In their own commerce rules, the first two rules that they tell you is that you can only control that which you create. The second one being that you cannot control that which you did not create. So when we think about that, we think about our creator, our creators. Not in a spiritual sense, but in the physical sense, your mom and dad. When it comes down to the birth certificate, though the dad is put on there, it's in all caps name, so it's not really the father. It's listed as the father, but it is merely another estate trust. That's it. They are taking the, the estate trust that your father had, transferring it to a piece of paper, and having your mother witness that this child is now heir to that trust and out of that trust we're going to make another trust and this is all done without the mother's knowledge without her with she does this all unwittingly unknowingly and unintentionally because i assure you if she did know what was going on particularly in today's day and age where cps comes in and takes the children out of the home and then if they're in foster care too long, sets them up for adoption. It's bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And I bring this up because I myself am adopted. I don't particularly know my father. I don't know my mother. But when it comes down to it, and I try to find out from whence and where I hail... And they won't even allow me the original birth certificate according to my birthright house name of Conrardy. Then I'm sitting here going by the house of Little. Which is still fair enough because I do reside or hail from the house of Little. And I am proud of that. The people of the house of Little, my mom and dad that adopted me, they did a wonderful job. We don't get along so great, but that's just differences of opinions. I don't think they're crazy. I don't think they're insane. I think they live their life the way they've lived it, and it works for them. But for me to live my life the way they want me to does not work for me. And so they call me a lunatic, which is fine. I know better. I know better. I don't have to believe it. It comes down to questioning. And when we question things and we don't get answers or are refused answers, then that can help you or help lead you to a presumption or assumption of what is true. Doesn't necessarily bring forth the truth, but it does help you follow a better path to what is the truth. And uh, basically I'm hoping everybody will get this shit through their thick goddamn skulls. You know, you need to wake up and understand that you have two co-creators, a mom and a dad, and the state had nothing to fucking do with it. And here they are, they're still taking children out of the home. Why? Because people have this thing right here filled with all kinds of belief and fear. Get rid of the fucking belief and the fear and fill it with knowledge. I've expressed this before, think of it as a parking lot. And you got all kinds of cars in there with license plates on them that say fear and belief. And that's who has jurisdiction over you. The fear and the belief. And when you get rid of those, those vehicles, move them out of that parking garage and replace them with vehicles that have, that have proper plates on them. Notice I used the word proper and not license, but they have the proper plates on there meaning proper T, proper to ye, and it says knowledge. So educate yourselves. 
Find out who you are. Find out who your father is. Like I mentioned in my previous video, who's your daddy? Because the state sure as hell isn't my fucking daddy. The Department of Motor Vehicles isn't my daddy. Social Security Administration isn't my daddy. Nobody's my dad except for my father. Hi, Mandy. Love you, girl. Trying to teach people about co-creators, your mom and dad, and how they are the only people that have rights over you, that have authority over you, that can claim you. The state keeps wanting to make all these false claims, and people just keep acquiescing to it because they have these this belief and this fear stored up here. You got to get rid of that shit. Got to stand up for yourself. Stand. In the capacity. And show them the status of authority. Period. Yes. Yes, Chris. Know thyself. And, and granted, the Bible's a good book. It really is. Though it's filled with all kinds of things that people don't believe and, and want to refute. The story is what we need to listen to. If you haven't heard it before, it's listen to the message, not the messenger. Because I don't care who the fuck tells me the truth. If it's the truth, it's the truth. And if they're telling me a lie, I'm going to tell them it's a lie. I'm not going to get mad at them about it. I'm just going to tell them the truth that it's a lie. And the birth certificate is a lie. It is fraud. Period. Please wake up, people. Please. Understand that when your mother signed that document as a witness, as an informant, she didn't have her co-creator sitting there beside her, counseling her. She had two devious people conniving her and defrauding her and the father and the child that came from. Remember that thing about triplicate? That's what the state did. They defrauded everybody in triplicate. They defrauded the mom through, uh, through uh, non-disclosure. They defrauded the father through non-involvement. And they defrauded the children by ignorance. Yes, Chris, capital letters are fictitious entities. They are actually, capital letters are not capital letters. They are symbols. Symbols strung together to form a fictitious name or a term. A foreign language. If you look it up in the Chicago Manual Styles, it'll tell you, uh, I believe it's section 11, 144 through 147 or something like that. It talks about ASL. American Sign Language. And that's a foreign language. If you don't know foreign language, then you shouldn't be speaking it, you shouldn't be accepting it as truth. That that birth certificate is a is full of foreign language that I do not understand. I do not stand under it. I do not walk around with a piece of paper over my head that says birth certificate standing under it. I will be the first one to put it on the ground and stop it all off. It's fraud. Fraud, fraud, fraud. And if they had any proof of it being valid, he would have been brought forth already. The only thing that makes that birth certificate valid is when you authenticate it so you can go through the UCC and, and become a secured party creditor and become part of the fraud when you start participating in the fraud. You got to quit it. Always willing to do that, Chris. I love educating. I love being educated. Fills all them empty spaces up here. Helps me get rid of all the fear and the beliefs. Got to quit this shit. Understand. 
that you are who you are and no one else. Know it. And when you start believing that you're, you're somebody that the state says, then you are. You're exactly what you believe. It's just like the old adage, you are what you eat. If you want to if you want to be cancerous and everything, live your life full of cancer and sickness and everything, go ahead. Eat all the uh, eat all the processed foods. Drink all the fucking scum that they they put in the drinks that you see at all these convenience stores and stuff. Drink it and see what kind of scum you become. When you start living by natural law and eating natural foods and drinking natural spirits and and juices and you become more natural. You clear up your system. Like I spoke in a video the other day, you start decalcifying all your glands. And they can do their job properly. So anyway, I just wanted to put another quick video about out about who my father is. Even though I was adopted, I know it isn't the state. And even though I know I don't know my father, I know no one has a claim over me. No one. If my father's dead, who is there to claim me? Who the fuck has any right to make any claim against me unless I've injured them or, or damaged their property or taken something from them? Nobody. Nobody. To hold me to a color of law, fictitious rule is bullshit. And I will stand against it every day of my life. And remember, people, if you don't have somebody worth dying for, then what's the point or the value of living? If you think somebody else owns you, then they own you. Period. I am. Period. And no one else has a right to I am. Anyway, that's all I got. God bless y'all. Love you. And have a great Saturday the 14th. Let's make it real screwy. Ha ha ha! Fuck them all up! <laughs> Good night, folks.